The Palestinian-Israeli conflict is ongoing and that is never going to be solved until the Israeli leadership become conscious and there's absolutely no bloody sign of that. And also the um, Palestine um, leadership becomes conscious and then you have two uh, groups in consciousness, mutually respecting the rights of others, and then, um, you know, you can live in harmony together. But you, you can't live in harmony when one, the Israelis, are trying to impose their will violently, disgustingly, upon um, uh, one of the most, if not the most, traumatized group of people and suppressed group of people in the world. Um, and, and so you can have all your, not, not that if you get into the conspiracy they ever want. But how will you explain to the Israelis that they should uh, ignore what is written in the Torah and uh, what God uh, well, you, told this, them for? This is the thing, so mate. This, this, is the, this is the thing, mate. This is why we have to be, just, uh, 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 be a bit chilled out over this. Mm. Um, you can't until they become conscious. While they stay in mind, and of course uh, the, the Jewish religion, uh, ironically like the, the, the Muslim religion in many cases, and indeed in many parts of America and other parts of the world, the Christian religion, and the Hindu religion, on we, on, on we go, are um, indoctrinated and programmed into young people from a very, very early age. And by the time they become adults, basically they're just software to the religion. They're just, they're just a computer disc playing out the religion. Um, I mean, you know, I, there was a program on British television years ago, um, and it was about an extreme... Uh, Jewish group, uh, when I say extreme, extreme followers of Judaism. And it was basically just fly on the wall filming of their life over a period of a month or so. And it was just extraordinary. You got, you got, you got women stressed in kitchens, uh, desperately trying to finish the cooking for the weekend before the sun goes down on the Sabbath, you know. I mean, what, what's going on? So when you're dealing with that level of programming, you, you, you're not going to change these people until they become Uh, conscious and go above that level of perception and, and break out of the software. You're not going to do it. And, and this, is how the, uh, this is how the control system works. It, 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 it creates rigid belief systems called religions and political parties Science, and all that stuff. And, and it, it creates basically different software programs called humans um, with different names for their software program, though the blueprint, the way it plays out, is exactly the same. And they play them off against each other. This is how they divide and rule the masses so that the few can control the masses. Um, and uh, all we can do is to speak our truth and give people the opportunity to, uh, to have another version of reality, which might tease open the mind to other, other possibilities. But I would say this. Um, This, what is happening now, is not just about humans in holographic bodies changing this reality. It's not. There is a multi-leveled uh, process going on now that involves um, consciousness occupying very different bodies to those that look human, right out into that uh, level beyond embodiment and form of uh, pure consciousness that is behind this, this, this process. And when I um, went to see that psychic in 1991, and I was told all these things, which that sounded extraordinary at the time, but they were all happen or ha are happening. One of the key things was, I think I mentioned it earlier, that there was a vibrational change going. Uh, this is why my first book was called The Truth Vibrations. I, I called it The Truth Vibrations because that's the name I gave to this vibrational change. Because what I was told was it was going to um, uh, open up people, awaken people from their coma, their density, and was going to bring to the surface all that had remained, all that had been hidden from us, so we could see what was actually going on—the truth vibrations. Now, uh, 21 years ago, there was no sign of this happening. Well, now it's very really happening. Uh, so this vibrational change is is coming in more and more powerful more and more powerful people talk about 2012 for me the most 
relevant thing about 2012 is it's not 2011, but it's not 2013 or 14 or 15 either, as this thing goes on. And um, it is um, teasing away all the time um, at the, the density, the concrete mind-dominated sense of reality. And of course, the more concrete your software reality is, the longer it's going to be before this vibrational change starts to break it down this density to the point where you start opening to consciousness. But I'm seeing people now, I don't know about your experience, who um, not long ago, I, I used to think, well, never them, never them. They're never going to open up their mice to this stuff. But suddenly it's like, he's getting it. What's happening? What's happening is this. Um, 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 those of us that have opened to this truth vibration um, uh, transforming awareness, um, once you attach to it, you become influenced by it because you're starting to access higher levels of awareness, insight, intuition, all of it. But then you also vibrate with it. So you become a vehicle of it. And, and, and you, you're not only um, communicating information, you, you, you're, you're generating this vibration that is, that is part of it. And you're grounding it in this um, reality, in this frequency range, and becoming a generator of it, a communicator of it. And so every time, uh, you see, what, what can happen, like, you know, radio stations sharing the same space, is that the radio stations of different frequencies can occupy the same space, but never, never communicate with each other, never interfere with each other, because they're too far away from each other on the dial. And these truth vibrations um, uh, uh, can access uh, this reality and, and that what goes on in this reality and people in this reality much more powerfully if, if they come through a, a physical vehicle and, and are transformed on a level that other people can, can pick up. You literally become a receiver of this truth vibrations change and a transmitter of it. Um, and we with every body that wakes up and attaches themselves or connects to this, they become a communicator of it. Suddenly we're starting to fill this reality with a different vibration and affecting people in a, in a different way. And so I don't think we should get downhearted, though I do understand why, um, when we think things are not moving quick enough because they're moving quicker and quicker and quicker. And, you know, uh, I would say 10 years from now, What's that? 2020, 2021. Um, we're gonna we're gonna look back at where we are now and go, whoa, hasn't it changed?